Are you struggling with your GCSEs or A-level revision? It's a question that echoes in the minds of countless students. Revision is indeed a daunting task. It's like a mountain that seems insurmountable, a labyrinth that's easy to get lost in. Procrastination lurks in every corner, whispering sweet nothings of later or tomorrow, derailing you from your study track, and oh, the lack of focus. The mind wanders to a thousand places, but rarely where it should be, on the books. And let's not forget that overwhelming feeling. The sheer volume of information to absorb can feel like trying to drink from a fire hose. You might find yourself nodding along to these struggles, recognizing them as your own. But don't fret. If you're nodding your head in agreement, stick around as we discuss strategies to overcome these struggles. Today we're going to arm you with tools to conquer these revision roadblocks. First up, let's talk about organizing your study space. The environment you choose to study in plays a pivotal role in your ability to absorb information. A clean, quiet and well-lit area can greatly enhance your focus and productivity. Imagine trying to study in a messy room. Your mind will be as cluttered as your surroundings, making it hard to concentrate. By contrast, a well-organized space can inspire clarity of thought and a more efficient revision process. The benefits of having all your study materials within reach cannot be overstated. It saves time and reduces distractions, allowing you to maintain a steady flow of study. And don't underestimate the role of a comfortable chair. It's not about luxury, it's about maintaining focus. Sitting comfortably can help you avoid needless movements and interruptions. Remember, a clutter-free space leads to a clutter-free mind. So give your revision the best chance of success by organizing your study space effectively. Next, consider creating a revision timetable. This strategy is more than just a list of when to study what. It's a powerful tool that can help you manage your time effectively, reduce stress, and ensure that you cover all necessary topics. So how do you create a realistic revision timetable? First, figure out how much time you have until your exams. Then identify the subjects or topics you need to revise. Don't forget to assess your current understanding of each subject so you can allocate more time to areas where you need improvement. Remember to be realistic. Don't cram all your subjects into one day. Break your revision into manageable chunks. Include breaks for rest and leisure activities too. These breaks are not a waste of time. They're essential for maintaining focus and absorbing information. Also, be flexible. If you fall behind, adjust your timetable accordingly. Don't panic or stress. You've got this. A well-planned timetable can be your roadmap to revision success. Now, let's dive into active revision techniques. Active revision techniques are a game changer when it comes to studying. They transform the process from a passive task into an engaging activity, making it easier for your brain to grasp and retain information. Let's explore some of these techniques. First on the list is flashcards. They're simple, versatile and incredibly effective. By jotting down information on one side and questions or prompts on the other, you're not just reviewing content, but you're also testing your recall. This method involves active engagement, which is key to memory retention. Next up, mind maps. These are a fantastic tool for visual learners. By representing information in a graphical format, you're creating a visual network of related concepts. This can help you understand the bigger picture and see how different pieces of information connect. And finally, teaching others. This might sound a little unconventional, but it's one of the most effective ways to reinforce what you've learned. By explaining a concept to someone else, you're forced to simplify complex information and make sense of it, which in turn deepens your own understanding. Remember, the goal here isn't just to go over your study material, it's to interact with it. Active revision techniques are about engaging with the content, challenging your understanding and reinforcing your memory. Active revision techniques make studying more engaging and effective. Lastly, never underestimate the importance of taking care of your health. It's the fuel that drives your revision engine. Let's begin with your diet. Consuming a balanced diet is crucial. Foods rich in omega-3 fatty acids like fish, nuts and seeds can enhance your concentration. Fruits and vegetables are also your friends. They are packed with vitamins and antioxidants that boost your brain power. Next up is exercise. Regular physical activity doesn't just keep you fit, it also increases your energy levels and improves your mood. A brisk walk, a quick jog, or a brief yoga session can do wonders. Now let's talk about sleep. It's not just about the quantity, but also the quality. Seven to nine hours of uninterrupted sleep can help consolidate your memory and enhance your cognitive skills. 
And remember, studying is a marathon, not a sprint. Take regular breaks to avoid burnout. Short breaks can actually improve your focus and productivity. Your health is your wealth, especially during revision time. To wrap things up, let's quickly revisit the strategies we've discussed. First and foremost, setting up your study space is vital. A clean, well-organized area fosters a productive learning environment. It's all about creating a space that encourages focus and productivity. And it could be as simple as tidying up your desk or choosing a quiet room. Next, we talked about the importance of a revision timetable. This strategy not only helps you manage your time effectively, but also ensures that you cover all your subjects evenly. Remember, it's not about cramming, but about consistent regular study sessions. Then we moved on to active revision techniques. This is where we really get the brain working. Flashcards, mind maps, quizzes, teaching someone else. These are all methods that involve active engagement, helping you retain information more effectively. And let's not forget taking care of your health. You can't expect to perform at your best if you're not feeling your best. Regular exercise, a balanced diet, and enough sleep are all part of the revision process. A key point to remember is that these strategies are not one-size-fits-all. What works for one person may not work for another. It's all about finding what works for you and making it a part of your revision routine. Remember, revision is a marathon, not a sprint. Take one step at a time and you'll get there. Good luck with your studies.